Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Stardust Engine update. In this video, we're going to be going over some of the changes that have been made for version 0.5. But before we go ahead and do so, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go down there, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So for release version 0.5, Stardust Engine has received quite a few little updates here and there. Uh, it's basically been a continuation of the version 0.4 with the mini release version 0.4.1, which added in support for 2D features that had been removed previously and re-implemented in a more efficient manner. Following this, there was also a lot of documentation that was added to the core uh, subsystems, such as the utilities, the platform, and places inside of the core Stardust engine itself. Now, another important thing to note of the Stardust engine version 0.5 release is that it also supports uh, true game objects and component systems, which is pretty much similar to how Unity 3D works. Uh, basically, these game objects can have tags, layers, they can also have different um, components attached to them, uh, which could have different features such as drawing models, uh, emitting sound, listening to sounds, and more stuff like that. For now, there have only been really two uh, sort of components, which are both models and LOD models. Uh, another thing that was added in version 0.5 was LOD models, which means that basically depending on how, how far away you are from a model, uh, it reduces the amount of detail. Now, it's a very experimental implementation, but it's actually pretty effective at what it uh, intends to do, and basically it uh, reduces the amount of GPU load put on your GPU. Either way, this has been a very short update video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.